Ladies and gentlemen, it is a special day, this February 24th, 2023. Kerbal Space Program 2 is in early access. Y'all know what time it is. It is Kerbal Space Program 2 time. I fell right into this. I needed to. So let's, you know, without further ado, let's see what they have brought us this time. Intercept Games and Private Division. It says mixed reviews. I don't know what's going to happen here, but... We're going to find out. Anybody watching this, liking it, commenting, I love you. And I must give you a kiss on the lips. All right, let's go. Oh, so we have to create an account. Well, why do I not? <laughs> All right, let's do it. They have this now. You can make a private division account. You can make a pri What a time to be alive. So you get this. They have a launcher now. I don't think they had a launcher like this before for the first one. This is what version we're on with the launcher. Let's go. Let's friggin' get it. Let's get it. I've always loved this game. I did think that the game had some shortcomings, though. Eula! The software is licensed not sold to you, and you hereby acknowledge that no title or ownership of the software is being transferred or cited in this incident. This agreement should not be construed as a sale of any rights in the software. License retains all right title interest of the software, including but not otherwise restrict or inhibit any other user from using or trying any online features of the software achieve, violate any terms, policy, licenses, transport, export, or re-export, access to features of services, including digital copy software, download redemption of a unique serial code registration of the software members in a third-party service or a membership and license service. This agreement inapplicable software documentation licenses are Firstly and the foremostly, we know what we've gotten to do. Settings Alright. Kerbal Space Program 2. I'm hype. I am such an excited 30-year-old thir oh, right now. Eula! Well, this is a new campaign for me. We're going to... Look at the settings we got here. We're gonna be easy. We're gonna be filthy casuals. Oh my god! Are we having fun yet? All right, let's hit it. Oh, wow. Your new space program, leaping forward into the cosmos. Since the dawn of Kerbal Kai, we have looked to the sky and wondered what sublime mysteries lie hidden in the darkness, like jewels never beheld. These untold treasures... <laughs> Heavy Carl Sagan vibes here. Due to the efforts of recently founded Kerbal Space. Oh my! I think that might have been the only copy of the orientation film. Hold on! Slides! <laughs> Welcome to your first day running the Kerbal Space ah, Program. Let's do this it. This campus hosts the greatest ever gathering of astronomers, astronauts, and engineers. After years of focused effort, this collection of geniuses has created several very impressive buildings. Oh, and I'm sure we could now upgrade we have them. We all the necessary pieces to take our first steps off the ground. The best way to advance our technologies further is to get up there and learn by doing. All we need now is somebody to show us how to put all these parts together. Well, we also need somebody to help us out with the flying. I am him. We need a lot of help, actually. That's why you're here. That's right. My name is Paige, by the way. If you need any hints, feel free to visit me over at the training center. Everything in there is well Paige the AI. It's a great place to get up and running. Welcome aboard. Cortana? Hello, and welcome to Kerbal Space Center. This campus has everything you need to turn your fledgling space program into stuff of legends. I'm coming! You can go through those lessons here at the training center. If you want to start building right away, I don't want to do that right away. I want the training experience. And we are going to have a smashing good time. So, 12 FPS, huh? 12 FPS is definitely not doing it. Well, I guess it is more of a microwave. We'll put it on potato PC settings. Hmm. Wow. I mean, I had to update the graphics drivers. You know how that goes. And then I had to go in the control panel to set this 
the graphic settings, you know how that goes. So let's see if I got it running well. Now this is at 1080 on my laptop. We're gonna see now. I might have to drop it down to 720. It is an important sacrifice to make. This is good. I'm benchmarking it, you know. I have gotten it to 20, 19 frames per second. So the one thing that I'm thinking about doing is the ultimate sacrifice, but it must happen. <laughs> Yeah, that was kind of weird. <laughs> Full screen! Well, I guess it is early access. What can you do about it? Guys, there's three E's. Three E's! Screen! This is very cute. Space is the place. Build launch stage and land a rocket in a suborbital flight to learn the fundamentals. We all have to start somewhere, don't we? Alright, let us learn the basics. Show me the way. So you wanna get to space. God, they're so cute. Have you tried rockets? Rockets use fuel and engines to create thrust, which propels them forward. When a fuel tank is empty, it is dropped to stay as lightweight as possible, allowing the rocket to go even faster. Ah, yes, it's all These coming back to me. As well as other expendable parts of a rocket. I really the hope stages. the constructing different stages do different things. Is better than Often the first, first one. Stage is very powerful. The building. Just enough fuel to get the vehicle through the atmosphere. It's pretty chill the graphics. The stage usually has a low thrust engine that, while not as powerful, is more fuel efficient. After dropping the heavier first stage and leaving the atmosphere, the second stage engine pushes the much lighter second stage to orbital speed. The final stage parachutes back down to the surface, ideally in one piece. Whee! Yeehaw! How to go to space. Yes, I have learned now. What's next? Welcome to the launch pad. Holy As shit. As you embark on your journey into rocketry, it's important to get all the crashing out of your system here in the simulator. It really cuts down on the awkward phone calls. Today, you're oh, launching yeah. into the virtual skies over KSC, where you'll learn how to control a rocket. Your rocket is ready for launch. Every good launch starts with a big green button and lots of fire. Most <laughs> bad launches do too, actually. <laughs> Let's do it. Let's like totally do it. I coom. Oh, look at how beautiful it is. Look at that in 15 frames per second. Looking good. <laughs> she looking good. Meters, and then we'll learn some controls. All right, we launching. Thousand meters. Okay, we're about to be thousand. This is the altimeter good. Okay. Okay. You're a kilometer up. <laughs> But you'll have more time to correct your course if you start pointing at the ground. Let's learn some rocket controls. Please. When flying a rocket or a plane, we have specific terms for moving. Pitch tilts your rocket's nose up and down. Trying to get straight up! Okay. Alright, this should. Wow. My PC 
is about to freaking explode. Alright, anyway. Oh, they want the AD. Okay. Now, yaw to the left. Straighten up. Excellent. Now for the final control. Roll rotates your rocket clockwise and counterclockwise. Try it now. That's what I was doing before. Okay, I see we have unlimited fuel for this for training purposes. That's the basics of rocket flight. Cool. Feel free to experiment with controls. You can move on when you're ready. I don't know if I could ever move on after that. Are you ready? Are you ready, Valentina? Alright, let's get this one done. Let's do it again. It's my second attempt on this tutorial. I really let's screwed up. This rocket to a launch pad. Let's do it. Welcome to the launch pad. Today you'll be flying straight up. Your rocket should do fine without any steering inputs. But if things get out of line somehow, feel free to intervene. You've cleared the launch tower and your flight is underway. Let's learn about staging. Rockets are constructed in sections. When a stage completes its job, it's dropped to shed weight. On your right, you'll find the staging stack. It displays all of the functions contained in each stage. Every time you... Each stage's fuel supply is shown on a bar next to the stage. Your active stage, stage one, still has a little fuel in it. When it goes dry, you'll drop that stage by selecting go. Your right. first stage is out of fuel. All it is doing is slowing you down. That's right. To drop that weight, you're going to activate your next stage. I gotta drop that That will weight. activate a decoupler, which will drop your empty stage. It you're will also activate it. your next engine. Once you activate a stage, there's no going back. Damn, that's deep. Ready? Hit go to lose that mess. Let's go! Okay, now we got this. We got this one. Very nice, very nice. Congratulations! You're nearly to space, and your next set of fuel tanks are empty. Now is a good uh -oh. time to drop them. Alright. Activate the next stage to separate those tanks. Your capsule will now continue coasting up. Yes. All that's left to do is gaze back down at Kerbin and wonder if you remembered to lock your car. Look at how bad this nice performance work. is. I will have to share my specs about this. Look at how terrible this is. Let me see. Let me see what else we can get up on the screen here. Oh, I can. Oh, 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 here we go. Here we go. Look at it is using a glorious amount of resources. Tutorial complete. Oh, okay, cool. So it's using 100% of my GPU. That is scary. And as a matter of fact, we're going to leave it at that for today. We got through a good amount, I'd say. I think we got like through three or four. But, what did you guys think? Has any of you played it yet? Let me know in the comments what you think about this game so far. Right now, for me, my biggest thing is the performance issue that we are we are seeing here. I have a Core i7 10th generation. This shouldn't, you know, like it's it's not the best stuff, and but I'm gonna have to include it because you know y'all see how it is. Okay, and then uh, all right, we're get we're getting pretty close. Uh, come on. That was so close. Y'all saw that? Alright, listen. This game is beautiful. Look at all of these trees. Ruining the performance. Look at how terrible the performance is. How many times do I have to explain it? Y'all know already. Thank you for watching again. And make sure to check out Lunar Soul Gaming channel. Like, subscribe, hit the bell. Join me in the early access journey of Kerbal Space Program 2.
See you next time, folks.